Number 18, the graph shows the relationship between the number of shares of stock from company A, which is X, and the number of shares of stock from company B, which is Y, that Simone can purchase. Which equation could represent this relationship? Okay, this particular line, the first thing we note is that this line has a negative slope. You see it's going down when read left to right. It's going down, negative slope. Here we have y equals 8x plus 12. That's a positive slope of 8. So that's not it. Here's y equals 12x plus 8. Positive slope of 12, not it. But I, by that, I mean this, this line has a slope of 8, and this line has a slope of 12. And they are, these are positive numbers, so this can't be it. So it's down to one of these two. Um, and so what we could do is just pick a point. So let's say I pick this point here. And that point over there that I'm pointing to is right there. It's 0, 040. Uh, let me write it up here over here so you can see it better. 0, 040. Oops. A little, neat, a little neater. 0, 040. Okay. So one of these will go through 0, 040, and one of them won't. Oh, let's see. The, let's see what the other one looks like. So when I plug in 0 for x, I should get 40 for y. And I'll do b, so you can see 8 times 0 for x plus 12 times 40 for y. And you get 480. I'm just writing out the equation from b. That's what I'm doing. This is 0 plus 12 times 40. Let's use the calculator because uh, you can use a calculator. So always good to use it. OK. Uh, 8 times 0 uh, plus 12 times 40. It's 480. Okay. That is correct. That works. Uh, so it should be B, but let's take a look at D. Let's use 12 times 0 plus 8 times 40. Let's check if that's 480. And let's get the calculator again. 12 times 0 plus 8 times 40. That's 320. So you wind up with 320 equals 480, which is false. So D is not it. This was, this was option D. So the answer is B.